Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. I'm Adam Cranfill with the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services, or Cal OES. I want to say thank you for everyone joining us here today at the San Manuel Fire Department, and a quick hello to those watching us on the live stream. We're excited to talk with you today about our new partnership between the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians, the San Manuel Fire Department, and Cal OES. But before we get started, I want to introduce the sharing of traditional bird song from the San Manuel Bird Singers. program and these songs we've been learning since uh, 1996 from Mr. Robert Levi. So let's give him a round of applause there. And it's an honor for us to be able to be here and sing some of these songs for us. We got uh, with us my brother Tommy Ramos, my son James Ramos, um, Hawk Ramos, and little Tom Tom Ramos. He's not so little anymore. But. <laughs> Then myself, James Ramos, we share these songs, and Trevor will join in once we start, once he gets here. Tamale, hey Tamaloa, Tamale, hey Tamaloa, to money what, to money what, to way, Tamale, hey Tamaloa. Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, to money, what to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamaloa. Tamale, hey, Hamalo, to money, what to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamalo, Tamale, hey, Tamalo, to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamalo, Tamale, hey, Tamalo, to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamalo. Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, Tamale, hey, Hamaloa, to money, what to money, what to money, what to eh? Tamale, hey, Tamaloa, Tamale, hey, Hamaloa, to money, what to money, what to money, what to eh? That song talks about the earth, Demalt, Demalt, like we're bringing in the new um, form relationship here and, and a good celebration here today. Amole Mulaiza, Amole Mulaiza, Isa me Yahumeka, Isa me Yahumeka, Amole Mulaiza, Amole Mulaiza. Isa me, I will make up. Isa me, I will make up. Tamale Mulaiza, Tamale Mulaiza. Isa me, I will make up. Isa me, I will make up. Tamale Mulaiza, Tamale Mulaiza. Hami, Sa me, I will make up. Isa me, I will make up. Isa me, I will make up. Tamale Mulaiza, Tamale Mulaiza. Isa me, I will make up. Isa me, I will make up. Isa me, I will make up. Tamale Mulaiza, Tamale Mulaiza. Isa me, I will make up. Isa me, I will make up. Tamale Mulaiza, Tamale Mulaiza. Isa me, I will make 
So much, San Manuel Berzingers, for being here today. With that, I'd like to introduce Sherry Sorrow with Cal OES, Assistant Director of Southern Response Operations. Thank you very much, and it's a pleasure to be here. And thank you very much for that performance. That was awesome. So I'm grateful that we could participate and be here with you. I am Sherry Saro. I'm the Assistant Director for Southern Response Operations in uh, Southern California for the California Governor's Office of Emergency Services. Cal OES is honored to continue cultivating partnerships with tribal government partners, including the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians and the San Manuel Fire Department. As of today, both are officially part of the California Fire and Rescue Mutual Aid System and will be able to deploy fire engines, the ones behind me, uh, to all local and state hazards, including wildfire season. As a result of the law enacted by California Governor Gavin Newsom, the state is now allowed to enter into mutual aid agreements with tribal governments, boasting tribal access to federal funding and reimbursement when they assist with these disasters. Partnerships at all levels will continue to be the backbone of emergency response. With more partners involved, together we'll be able to preserve lives and properties California's, for Californians during disasters. United in our efforts, we will lead California to a stronger and more resilient future. And with that, I will hand it over to Lorena Bolden, second governing council member on the San Manuel Tribal Council. Thank you. Hamatam, shamatam, shalom, everybody. I want to have, you know, share a few words today, and I just want to say thank you all for coming out. We are grateful for, for the opportunity to work on a government-to-government -government basis with a state so that San Manuel could play an even more significant role in safeguarding California. Growing up on the reservation and hearing the words of my elders, I knew from a young age that the reservation was in the path of wildfire. In 2003, I experienced the old fire passing through the reservation and to the credit of our fire department and other agencies working together that day, we didn't lose any homes here on the reservation. However, our neighbors around the area did. And we are proud today to say that by doing this, invest, by investing and in being a partnership, we're gonna be able to protect and help our surrounding areas as well, not just here on the reservation, but those around. We all know fire does not respect boundaries or borders. Therefore, we must act together during a wildfire and be prepared with the necessary resources. Being a partner in the California Fire and Rescue Mutual Aid System builds confidence that we will be there for one another in times of need. Thank you to Governor Newsom for having the foresight to realize the need for tribal government partnerships. Most of the reservation in this state are rural or interface with wildlands, making our nations, in many cases, the front lines in a fight to stop fires, or more importantly, to stop them before they even spread. Also, a big thank you to our governing council for guiding the tribe to forge these partnerships based on tr trust and mutual support. So once again, I want to thank you all. Hakupai, have a great day. And I'm going to pass it over to Chief Marshall. Good afternoon. My name is Brian Marshall. I am the State Fire and Rescue Chief at OES. I have the privilege to be here today representing the 1,000 local government fire departments throughout the state of California and our state and federal partners with wildland responsibility. My motto at Cal OES and my firefighters that work for me is no one stands alone. 
the biggest metropolitan fire departments have to call for help. The small fire departments, the rural volunteer fire departments, they call for help. And in California, we're fortunate to have the California Fire and Rescue Mutual Aid System. What does that mean? It's a lot more than just this fire truck behind me. It is highly professional, highly trained and skilled firefighters who work for our local government and tribal fire departments who are the 911 system when we have major wildland fires throughout the state of California and all hazard emergencies. If you don't think that the San Manuel Fire Department will be in Southern California during a major earthquake, their trained firefighters under their fire chief's leadership will be on the front lines during an earthquake. But here we are in wildfire season. What does this mean? We have one more fire engine with, again, highly trained, highly skilled firefighters, the firefighters that you see up here, that will answer the call for mutual aid. They will get in this fire engine and they will respond anywhere in the state of California where a fire department is calling 911 for assistance. And their firefighters will be out there day, night, heat, smoke, protecting lives, property, and the environment in the state of California. They will be out there away from their families, on the front lines, saving California. This partnership is huge. The tribal fire departments have always participated in the mutual aid system. But with new legislation signed by Governor Newsom, they're now able to have a Cal OES fire engine. That is huge, and I would like to thank Chief Alexander, for having that commitment to the California Fire and Rescue Mutual Aid System. Because I know that this summer, this engine, and maybe your own engines, will be out on the front lines. And as a professional firefighter and a, a citizen of the state of California who's lived here all my life, it is comforting to know that professional firefighters will be out there protecting us. At this time, I would like to pass it over to Chief Alexander for his comments on this partnership that we have. Thank you. Well, thank you, Chief Marshall. I really appreciate that. I am honored to share some words about the importance of this partnership and how tribes like Samuel can inform the emergency services statewide. The Samuel Fire Department was established in 2003 to help combat the threat of wildfires, not only on the tribes reservation here between the city of San Bernardino and the National Forest, but beyond. We are an extension of the tribe's mission to protect its ancestral lands in San Bernardino and other adjoining counties. In just over 20 years of service, we've provided mutual aid on an average of 1,000 times each year to communities in remote areas off the reservation. These two decades have seen tribal fire departments like Sam and Well become vital to local and statewide emergency response. Many of the men and women in uniform here today play an active role in state and national incident management teams. This continued integration is due to the vision and commitment of tribal nations to safeguard the land and apply their values to protect not only the people and the property, but also its cultural and natural resources. Culture plays a significant role in Sam and Roll's approach to emergency services. The mission statement of the Sam and Roll Fire is declared in the native language and concepts guiding us 
and a culturally informed approach to emergency services. This approach aims to facilitate a meaningful exchange of ideas and values with the tribal community. And the tribe encourages us to take a holistic approach to land protection, to involve archaeologists, botanists, cultural people, who sometimes work on the front lines to help us safeguard natural and cultural resources that would otherwise go unnoticed or unprotected. Culture is at the core of how we approach our duty as protectors. And this approach can only enhance the state's response to all hazards, including wildfires. Once again, I'm honored to share the words of recognition for the tribe's commitment to the emergency services and forging new partnerships. Thank you. And it is my honor to hand it over to Assemblyman James Ramos. Well, I want to thank you um, so much for uh, being here today and forming this partnership um, here between the Seminole Tribal Government and the State of California through the Office of Emergency Services. As a past chairman of the people of the Seminole Tribal Government and now as a state representative in the Assembly 45th District, we work hard to ensure that our people's knowledge is entrusted into the different policies that are governing the State of California. Today marks a significant moment in the ongoing efforts working with the governor of the state of California, Governor Newsom, and the different departments, forming that partnership that when fire emergencies come our way, that the Samoa tribal government has formed that relationship for emergency management. That's not a, a small task um, that has moved forward. Being able to call on California's first people in times of emergency is something that's needed throughout the state of California. In addition of the Samoa Fire Department, it's a testimony to the collective commitment to safeguarding the lives of our community and the lives of the state of California. By joining the system and being integrated into this vital network, San Manuel is not only strengthening its own firefighting capabilities, but also enhancing the state of California with the knowledge and the professionalism that our department carries forward. These are issues that we continue to work forward on. These assets that you see behind us are assets that are for our whole community. And when people start to see a tribal government and a fire department coming from a tribal government, there's no separation between the training and the professionalism that goes into the day-to-day -day operations. It's time that we band together to ensure that when emergency situations come our way, that we band together to make sure that the safety of all those in the state of California and in our community is something that is of the utmost importance. I want to thank you um, for being here on behalf of the State Assembly and our speaker, Speaker Rivas, for being able to be here to form this partnership. Not so long ago, we had to run a piece of legislation to ensure that our ambulance service was certified, um, that the tribal government had the capabilities to certify that, and that bill was signed into law by Governor Newsom. So the commitment from the administration on down is there to form the relationships, to make sure that we talk about safety for all in the state of California. That means banding together with California's first people and those in the state of California to ensure that when emergencies come our way, we stand united to make sure that everyone is safe in our community. Thank you so much. And it's my privilege now to introduce an old friend of mine, Supervisor Cook. You know, it's a sad commentary in life where all my friends are old, or they refer to me as old. Um, this is uh, uh, something I, I am just so happy to see what's going on here. And uh, I've been around the government a long, long time, you know, 26 years in the Marine Corps, and, and I, I won't go on and on on where or when. The biggest problem with governments is they don't get along with other governments. And you have these turf wars that interfere with something where you go out there, a building's on fire, and it's real simple. Put out the fire. 
and said, well, uh, you cover this area here, and uh, do you have the appropriations data on this? And meanwhile, the damn building is burning down, and maybe somebody's inside. Now, I'm obviously exaggerating, but in my brief 81 years, not always in government, I was in, uh, you know, jail, juvenile hall, stuff like that, uh, so I, uh, it's been something that is very, very frustrating. When you get excited and you want to work together and, as I said, put out the fire or stop the, the riot or I can go on and on and on, we fall back and we start arguing about appropriations and everything else. And during that interim, there's the possibility that maybe somebody died or burned to death. I, uh, I have to tell you, I, I have to compliment somebody. Um, she's not a member of my party. I'm uh, the only person in this room that's probably a Republican, at least in his party. But it's uh, Fiona Ma. Fiona Ma is the uh, state treasurer. And you know her when we're there. And uh, she comes down here a lot to San Bernardino. And... Uh, She's always been there for us, cutting through the, the, the red tape, quite frankly. Of course, she's married to a firefighter. And uh, I had to kick in $500,000 for that marriage just so she would do that for fire prevention. But no, I'm only kidding. You won't even give me a break. Uh, so what, uh, at this stage, right? Uh, what I was talking about is far too often. I spent 26 years in the Marine Corps, and I, sometimes you get in these, these battles over who's in charge. And meanwhile, it, you know, you got machine guns, mortars, what have you. Instead of knowing instinctively, okay, you do this, 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 and this. Uh, so I'm a big proponent of open communication. I'm a big proponent of where you guys, where you bring everybody together and you have what is called a CPX. Anybody know what a CPX stands for? Well, communication, post-exercise, command, post-exercise. It's where you get together in a simulated situation. Earthquake? Nah, it'll never happen in California. You, you, you got it all down to a drill. Uh, uh, forest fire, that, that's absolutely horrible. And I gotta be honest with you, when I first got elected a long time ago to uh, the state assembly, I had Riverside County as well as San Bernardino. First day on the job, there's a fire. And some of you, particularly for the firefighters, older people here, might remember that were th there were three firefighters. And they tried to get back to their truck. And they almost made it. And in one of the more horrific episodes that underscores the, how dangerous the job that you're in, they almost made it, but they didn't. They, they die. And, uh, you know, you go to all the services, uh, most of them were from Hemet, uh, most of them were Riverside, it was, I had San Bernardino and Riverside County. And what you do is, the only thing you can do is as an elected official, I want to find out how we correct that situation, whether it's notification or what have you, so we don't do it again. This is what I learned in the Marine Corps. If you don't practice this over and over again, something's going to happen, and somebody's going to get hurt or somebody might die. This job is not for the faint. This job takes, I'm not going to say heroes, but there's certainly would, 
soon to be heroes, depending on how many fires or catastrophes or what have you. And I can I can go on and on and on and name the ones that that happen right here in our area here. We're built for fires. It's dry. We have a lot of rural areas, and once those fires start going, these people here can tell you a lot more than I can about how intense it is and how dangerous it is. So why are we here? We're here to cooperate, to work as a team, to when the balloon goes up, everybody's on the same page. And somebody doesn't ask a stupid question, well, oh, I got to find the appropriations data on this to see whether we can pay for this. No, you go out and you point out, you put out the fire and you save lives. Worry about that other crap later on. So I am honored to be here. I'm, uh, I'm an old war vet that is with heroes. And that makes my day. But I want them and their families to have days in the future so that we are prepared. When the balloon goes up, we work as a team. And God help us if federal agencies don't help out and come through, call Cook. I didn't win the sensitivity award in the assembly for nothing, right? <laughs> no, I'm not afraid to jump up and down where there's lives concerned. And as I said, I feel very, very honored to be with these heroes and acknowledge the important job they have. And now they have another arrow that they can use to save lives. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Supervisor Cook. Before we get into the signing of the agreements, I'd like to open it up to any questions. All right, hearing none, seeing none. We'll move on. Chief, Chief and Chief, start signing some documents. We also have a certificate for this um, recognition from the state of California from the assembly on the addition to the California Fire and Rescue Mutual Aid System on behalf of the California State Assembly and as chair of the California Native American Legislative Caucus, it is my privilege to present you with this certificate of recognition for your commitment to enhancing the safety of all in the state of California. Present it to the Tribal Council and the Seminole Fire Department. Chief Alexander. Uh, yes, after. please welcome back the San Manuel Bird Singers. Oh, <clears throat> 
Toche, 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 maya ta hoele, maya ta hoele. Toche, 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 maya ta hoele, maya ta hoele. Toche, 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 maya ta hoele, maya ta hoele. Toche, toche. Ma 
different emergency services, emergency things that happen in the state, that it's going to test you as you go out there and perform to save those in our community. Remember these songs, and hopefully these songs will help you push through and persevere and overcome those things that are there to protect all those in the state of California. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for joining us today. That's gonna to conclude our press conference.